are American smooth walls. So we did a lot of review of the reverse turn, mostly the reverse of the natural turn with the continuity ending. Um, so after that, we, we did the uh, flip-flops. So we're gonna show you how to do the flip-flops. So we're coming, uh, we've just finished our continuity ending, so we're in an outside partner position, okay? So I have my left foot free, my right foot is free. And we have, we're gonna go into a twinkle. So we have one, two, three. From here, I'm gonna release the hand and I'm gonna cut her off. So I'm doing a forward, side, back. So I do forward, side, back. Now I'm going to open the door, let the lady pass through by taking my left foot back, back, side, forward. And then I do it again. Forward, side, back, back, side, forward. So a couple of things we want to think about. The, the, the pattern with this, technically, we have a forward, we have a side, and we have a back, and we have a back, and then a side, and then a forward. But as a good leader and as a good follower, we have to adjust the distance of our side step. So if my partner is small, small, <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I won't go as big. So she's gonna go back, back, side. I'm sorry, yeah, uh, back. And now I'm gonna go, when I have her pass, back, side, forward. I have to adjust that side. So if I go too big, Carolyn can't go, you really are a good two. She can't go as big, so. Can't, she can't get around. So what I want to do is I want to adjust depending on the size of her stride. So what I have to do as a leader as I'm stepping back is actually wait for her to step across. And then I adjust. There. She does the same thing. Now she's taller. She's much taller. <laughs> so now she's going to do the same thing for me. And I do the same for her. So that side step has to be adjusted for that to work. All right. Thank you very Thank much. You, Thank you, Jen.